Hello, welcome back to Little Codex. Today I am going to make an Instamatic 100 104 custom hybrid camera. I'll take these apart and I'll put them back together and I'm going to give my Instamatic 100 the use of the flash cube. So I'll show you step by step how I'm going to do this. It's going to be pretty cool and we are going to have a brand new camera. So this will be never before seen. The Instamatic 104 100 Custom Hybrid. Okay, so first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these guys apart. You can see this guy is just a mess. So um, a lot of oxidation, some handwriting here on the back door. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy taken apart. We have our same usual screws that we're going to take apart. We have the two side screws. We'll take those guys out. We have our bottom screw here. We'll take that guy out. On the inside, we got to take our little shield off. Get that guy right out. And then there's one last screw inside here. Once we pull that guy out, we are good to remove the front of our 104. See if the little uh, battery door comes out. And that guy is good to go. Put him off to the side here. All right, so this is going to be our camera body that we are going to be using with our um, little flash cube on top. And what I want to do is get rid of this door because it has all that writing on it. So I'm going to take these two screws out the back. Alright, let me get this guy a couple more turns. Alright, so that will remove our door that we don't want. And off to the side. Okay, so this is our base here that we're going to be working with. It's in pretty good shape. Um, so we don't have to clean him up anymore. Um, I'll show you how it works while I got it all taken apart. Wind our film. And then if you watch this little pendulum shire, it will open up right here. If you didn't pay attention, you would have missed it. All right, so there's our base. Now we're going to take our Instamatic 100 apart. We'll do that same procedure, all right? So we're going to take the screws out on the side. All right, so we have two little screws on the side. And then we have our screw on the bottom. All right, put those aside. We have to take our little shield off here. And then our last screw off on the inside there. So you can see already that these cameras are very similar in their construction. The last thing we're going to do is we are going to take the door because this is our door we are going to hang on to. All right, so we'll take our door off. All right. of our Instamatic 100 off. You can see here's the guts. Battery door popped off as well. We'll put him off to the side. All right, now we're going to reassemble our new Instamatic 100 custom camera. Um, interesting thing is this little metal piece that was used to pop up our AG1 flash gun is going to be used to push up 
and eject our flash cube. So we'll put him all back together and I will show you that this works. There's our flash cube and once this guy's all screwed in, it will pop him off. Let me see if I have him in there the right way here. And make sure you get him in there just right. Alright, wasn't in there the right way. Okay. That will probably do it for us. There we go. Alright, so our little Instamatic 100 button also works to eject the flash cube just like it worked to pop up the flash gun. Alright, we're going to go ahead and screw him back together. Put our outside screws on first, kind of get it all cinched up. And then we're going to put our inside screw, which is going to go in that little hole right down there. And we do that before the bottom screw because the bottom screw kind of protrudes up and gets in our way. So kind of do it in the opposite. And what I'll do is I'll put the bottom screw in so you can kind of see how that guy sticks up into the camera a little bit. See him pop up there? So this guy kind of gets in my way when I'm trying to put that screw on the inside. All right, so we're gonna put our little shield back on. And we'll just pop right in there like that. And then last thing what we're gonna do, you can see the insides there of the, uh, of the camera. But once we put the door in, it will cover that right up. All right, so we'll put our two little door screws back on. And now we have a custom Instamatic 100 with the flash cube. So uh, I'm not done yet uh, because I forgot the door. So I'm gonna have to take this all apart again. I won't uh, let you sit through that. But uh, once I get that door on, I'm gonna show you the next step that we're gonna take. So hang on one second. All right, so we are back and we have our Instamatic 100 hybrid here put back together. We put the battery compartment back on. We have two AAA batteries in there. And let's give her a test. So we'll put our flash cube on top. I'll open this back so I can hit that catch. All right, you can see we are in business with our new flash cube here. It's spinning like it's supposed to be. It's ejecting with our eject button that we took from the 100. The 104 um, that we replaced this, it doesn't work because there's no button there, but we can take a toothpick and pop up our flash gun. We can always come back and build a little button for that later. But we're gonna set this aside because what we're really focused on is our 100 hybrid here that now uses a flash cube. So uh, we have one more step here that we're gonna take. We are going to make this custom so it doesn't get mixed up with our in other Instamatic 100s. And we are going to uh, paint the front surface of this black. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mask that off for you guys right now.
Okay, with that tedious task done, you can see we have it all masked off and we are going to hit this with our black paint. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna scuff it up a little bit. Okay, we are ready to go out to the paint box and uh, we'll get this guy painted black. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are outside in our um, painting area here. And uh, we have the camera inside of the box. And we're gonna just uh, This guy with the All right, I think I got everywhere. We'll let that dry a bit, and then we'll come back and get a clear coat on. Okay, now we'll hit it with some clear coat, finish her off. We'll let that dry up, and then we'll be good to go. All right, and the moment you've all been waiting for, we've removed all the masking. And here is our Instamatic 100 Hybrid with our flash cube. So, I hope you like the look of this new camera. I've taken a 100 and 104 and made my own custom 100 um, with the flash cube. So if you liked my video, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more great content. And until next time, have a great day.